Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma. I'm going to tell you about this beautiful 2017 Q50 premium all-wheel drive that we have for sale. We acquired this off lease from Infinity Financial Services, one owner clean Carfax, beautiful, beautiful shape inside and out, very nicely equipped with features. We have the original build sheet. Uh, one of the benefits of being a new Infinity retailer is that we have access to these uh, build sheets, these original window stickers, and of course we can print you up a copy or email you one if you want to peruse it yourself. Uh, this one has actually a lot of equipment on it, and that's why it's always important when you're doing your shopping, especially with pruned vehicles that don't always have this info, um, to try to compare apples to apples, because this had a base MSRP of 42650 but when you add in all the options and equipment this one has, it inflates to 51,635 original MSRP. Uh, one option is a direct adaptive steering system. That was a thousand dollar option, um, which actually is a pretty rare option. Uh, I had another person who asked me uh, about information on these Q50s from our YouTube page and they were curious about how many of these are equipped with the direct adaptive steering, also known as uh, steer by wire. Um, and I explained to him that it's actually a pretty rare option. Only the fully loaded tech ones have it and there's a few that have it as a standalone option like this one does. And um, the direct adaptive steering is a really cool system. This is actually one of the first production automobiles to have a steer by wire system. So under normal driving conditions, there's no mechanical connection to the front wheels. It's all handled by electric motors and computers. Why would they do that? Well, eventually the goal is uh, when you have self-driving vehicles, um, it'll be a lot easier to control and steer the vehicle if you can do it uh, by computers. And they want to eventually do away with the steering column completely. The steering column is kind of uh, complicated because you have this big metal tube that goes through the firewall all the way down to the front wheels. So uh, when you have to build a vehicle, having to build around that uh, it's hard and it's also a safety feature because they have to be collapsible because you don't want to be impaled by a steering column in an accident So they have to design them so that they collapse and stuff. So eventually if they can just get rid of it um, That would be awesome and uh, this is one of the first steps of doing that uh, The benefits to you of having the direct adaptive steering system is uh, you have a lot of control over the steering um, We have a drive mode selector and that can make changes to the steering feel um, depending on the drive mode. It also makes changes to uh, transmission shift points, uh, throttle sensitivity, tracks, and stability control settings. But uh, you can drill down a little bit further uh, with the drive mode selector here. So you can program the transmission and you can program the steering. So uh, the steering actually has a little bit more programmability than you have with a normal non-drive by wire steering system. So you can control the mode, uh, you can control the feel of it, so you can kind of make it like a fast steering ratio and heavier like a race car, or you can kind of make it slower and lighter like to a luxury car. Also, since there's no mechanical connection to the front wheels, if you hit a rut in the road or a pothole or something that would jerk the wheel, uh, you're not going to feel it, it'll actually get filtered out. So one of the benefits too is they want to filter out the unwanted feedback and just kind of communicate to you that the feedback that you want to feel and um, I know if you probably read some uh, car magazine reviews some of them aren't too crazy about the steer by wire system and it's kind of a love I hate it thing maybe it's not for you maybe it is I can tell you um, people who've owned infinities with this system for you know at least them for two or three years uh, they didn't like it at first but they actually became used to it and they've grown to like it. It's a little bit different than a regular uh, non-steer-by-wire uh, vehicle, but um, a lot of people do get used to it and do end up liking it. Um, so that might be the case for you. Uh, if you don't like it, luckily it's a lot easier to find them without it uh, than the ones that do. So going back to the features here, uh, we went over their direct adaptive, adaptive steering. Then it has a 19-inch sport and wheel tire package. That's a thousand dollar option. Really looks good and we'll see that when we move towards the outside. Uh, maple wood trim is this nice elegant wood trim that you have on the center console and doors. Uh, the leather seating package, that was a thousand dollar option. Leatherette is standard, leather is optional on the Q50. Of course this one has it with a leather seating package. Then we have the driver's assistance package. That was a 2150 option giving you blind spot warning, predictive forward collision warning, forward emergency braking front and rear parking sensors, 
an around view monitor, a backup collision intervention with rear tra cross traffic alert. Uh, then we have uh, you know the premium plus package that gives you uh, you know navigation, remote engine start, power and heated front seats, heated steering wheel, uh, power adjustable steering wheel, 60 40 split fold down rear seats. So those are some of the big ticket features that you have on this Q50. Actually, has quite a lot. Uh, you might also see in the video there's some lines here in the navigation screen. Uh, that is a factory defect, and we actually have a whole new uh, screen on order, so that will be replaced under warranty. So if you see that, don't worry about that part. <laughs> this one has 35,986 miles at the time of making this video. Really nice color combination in graphite gray. Actually, graphite gray interior. Hagani blue exterior, and the graphite gray is actually kind of more towards the black charcoal black versus a lighter gray. It kind of can be kind of deceiving when you hear graphite gray. Uh, it's more closer to black for the interior color. And these are those upgraded 19 inch port wheels. It's kind of amazing how a wheel and tire package can make such a dramatic difference in the look of the vehicle. Uh, but these really look great. The stock wheels and tires look just fine, but these 19 inch wheels, these sport wheels, really make it pop. And usually these are the wheels and tires that you get in the sport package Q50, but it's also the wheel and tire package is also available as a standalone option. The Q50 is built on a sports car platform, shared with the Nissan 350, 370Z. Pretty much the sportiest Infinities we've seen over the last 15 years have been built on this advanced front midship platform. It is a very balanced uh, rear wheel drive platform uh, delivering excellent performance. This is also intelligent all wheel drive. Rear wheel drive is standard, all wheel drive is optional. Most of the infinities that you find in our dealership will be all wheel drive because in our wet slippery climate that's mostly what people want. And the reason why the all wheel drive system is intelligent is because when all wheel drive is not needed, like in conditions like this, it's going to be 100% rear wheel drive. Why do they do that? Well, if the all-wheel drive system is constantly working all the time, it's going to chew through your tires faster, it's going to reduce your gas mileage. Also, by having that rear-wheel drive bias, it gives you the feel of a rear-wheel drive sports car. That's why we, they do that. But this car has a brain that's always monitoring driving conditions. So as soon as those rear wheels slip, in a matter of milliseconds, almost instantly, it can send up to 50% of the vehicle's power to the front wheels. So it really enhances your wet weather performance. And of course, if you drive in the snow, you're going to do a lot better with all-wheel drive versus rear-wheel drive. The heart of the Q50 is this VR30 twin-turbo engine. This is a brand new engine for 2016. It makes 300 horsepower. It features direct injection. You can kind of hear that clicky, clattery noise. Uh, some people see these videos and they're like, what's wrong with the engine? There's nothing wrong with it. That's actually the way direct injection sounds. Um, I don't know exactly why it's so loud. It kind of operates a little bit like a diesel engine by sending very highly pressurized gas uh, into the combustion chamber. That might, those, uh, those high pressure injectors might be causing that noise. Um, that's my guess. I'm not a mechanic. I'm not 100% sure, but um, it might be a little bit louder when it's idling, but once you're in the car and driving, it's not going to be any difference in a non-direct injection engine. Um, most cars these days are moving towards direct injection because it's more efficient, you get lower emissions, more horsepower, and better fuel economy. This Q50 looks absolutely beautiful. It's one of the better equipped pre-owned Q50s we have right now. It's hard to find these uh, with very nice equipment on them because uh, generally people like to hold on to them. So if you like this one, I wouldn't hesitate too much because it's kind of a rare option package. Uh, the color and the features, you don't see uh, ones equipped this way too often. So it's a little bit more unique. Thanks for watching this video and we hope to see you soon.